I will look after my sheep, says the Lord, and I will appoint a shepherd to pasture them. Now the Lord will be their God. Today's Mass is offered for the intention of uh, Angel Vera Ortiz. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let's recall to our mind our own failures and shortcomings and ask God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sinned my thoughts and my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask the Lord, the Spirit with which you fill the Bishop St. Charles Bermeo, that your church may be constantly renewed and be and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ may show his face to the world who lives and reigns with you the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Charles to St. Charles Borromeo. My beloved, just as you have always obeyed me, not only in my presence, but much more now in my absence, go work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who is at work in you, enabling you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without murmuring and arguing, so that you may be blameless and innocent children of God, without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation in which you shine like stars in the world. It is by your holding fast to the word of life that I can boast on the day of Christ that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. But even if I am being poured out as a libation over the sacrifice and the offerings of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you, and in the same way, you also must be glad and rejoice with me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. 
One thing I ask of the Lord, that will I seek to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now large crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and said to them, Whoever comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even life itself, cannot be my disciples. Whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, does not first sit down and estimate the cost to see whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation, and is not able to finish, all who sees it will begin to ridicule him, saying, This fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going out to wage war against another king, will not sit down first and consider whether he is able to, with 10,000 to oppose the one who comes against him with the 20,000. If, if he cannot, then while the other is still far away, he sends a delegation and asks for the terms of peace. So therefore, none of you can become my disciples if you, cannot, if you do not keep up all your possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. Love is our ultimate fulfillment and our true discipleship according to the Gospel today. Jesus' word about hating one's father and mother and family expresses preference rather than actual hatred. This must be understood in the light of uh, his broad insistence on the two commandments of love for God and for neighbor. This is a true discipleship that Jesus tells us today. A true disciple is a lover of God, friend of God, friend of humanity, ready to sacrifice ready to surrender, accept everything as it comes in one's life. 
That's why in today's first reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians, Paul's optimistic wishes for the Philippians, he tells here how vibrant parish community can function if there is a shared spirit of service and goodwill among the community of believers and faithful. He advises the community of Philippians to be agreeable, to act without trampling or arguing, and to be honest and open as one family, the children of God. That's a true disciple, a true disciple ready to accept, ready to accept God's will in one's own life. That's why the true di discipleship, when one accepts in his life or her life, is total surrender, forgetting everything else. That does not mean we hate our family, we hate our brother, we hate our sister, we hate our others. No, but the total surrender to the will of God. For love is the center of everything there. For love is the ultimate fulfillment of God's will for a true disciple. Amen. Mother Perpetual Hall, your very name inspires confidence. We come before your holy teacher in praise and thanksgiving to God, seeking your intercession of Jesus, your Son, for all the needs of our lives today. We celebrate your holy Mother as we proclaim Jesus Christ, our Lord and Redeemer. You answered when called to be Mother of our Lord, obtained for us the grace to be alive to our baptismal call, especially to embrace the gospel of life and to respect all life on earth. You wonder as your son grew in wisdom, knowledge, and grace, intercede for us so that they may welcome the word of God in our lives and be bearers of the good news to one and all. You delighted as your son healed the sick and the seed for our sick, that they may receive good health and that they in their turn be healers to others. You rejoice peace as your son and put at the afflicted, and the sea for all who suffer, so that they may know that we carry the burdens with them. And in this way we come to the call of Christ. You rejoice as your son forgives sins, obtain for us the forgiveness of our sins, lead us to unbind others and set them free. You suffered the wounds your son endured for our salvation. Help us to bind up the brokenhearted, to give hope to the downtrodden. Exalted in your son's resurrection, obtain for us the grace to persevere in his way all the days of our life, and be granted a place in heaven. You are the first of all the disciples, saints, trust in your motherly love and care. Obtain for us all the graces we need to fulfill the course plan each day in our life. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it nor that anyone who flooded your protection, implored your help, sought your intercession, was left unaided, inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O original Virgin, our Mother, till we come, till we stand, sinful and sorrowful, Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear our answers. Lord Jesus Christ, at a word for Mary, your mother, he changed water into wine at Cana in Galilee. 
hear our prayers and grant our petition in honor of our mother of perpetual health. Grant wisdom and courage to all our religious and civil leaders, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all our bishops who lead us, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through the hearing of our mother. Grant peace, unity, good harvest in all the world, especially in places of conflict, war, famine, need, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through the hearing of our mother. Grant married couples the grace of their sacrament, wives and husbands a binding love for each other, parents the grace to welcome and cherish their children, single parent families, unity and strength, and peace and blessings on all our homes, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant to our single adults fulfillment there, in their call to our young people's success in their endeavors and courage to witness to their faith, to our elderly vitality, security, and contentment in their days, and to the separated and divorced, the grace of your spirit, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant workers confidence in their work, dignity in their accomplishments, joy in their contributions, just and living wage, and to the unemployed, grant gainful work, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant your church many laborers for the harvest, good priests, brothers, sisters, lighty, who will dedicate their lives to your faithful people, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant eternal life to all the deceased and a place in the communion of the saints where every tear shall be wiped away and where we shall meet you, our God, face to face, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant to each of us the grace to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with you each day of our lives. For whatever we do, do to the least of our sisters, our brothers, we do to you, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Mother of perpetual help, we who call on your most powerful name, thank you for the graces we receive through your decision. For hearing our prayers today, for God who is mighty has done great things through you. God's mercy is from each to each, those who fear him. May the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of Mary of perpetual help, be with you to defend you, within you to sustain you, before you to lead you, behind you to protect you, and a power to bless you all the days of our life. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of wine, work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offering placed on the altar in commemoration of St. Charles, and grant by the power of this sacrifice that as you made him an attentive pastor, outstanding in the merit of his virtues, so you may make us abound in good fruit by our works, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us on the feast of Saint Charles Bermeo, you bid your church rejoice, so that you strengthen her by the example of his holy life and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. So with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed uh, holy, O oh Lord, the pound of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters and who have fallen asleep, the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to you, Throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Let us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Firstly, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of the Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him 
who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room. Truly say the word, and so shall be healed. An usher comes to you. Make sure your mask is on as you come for the Holy Communion. How we receive the communion properly on the hand. Your dominant hand is under the other hand and free. After receiving the communion, use your free dominant hand to remove the mask first. Then take a second to examine your hand to gather any particles. So of the communion and consume them. Then put back the mask on and proceed to your seat. Thank you for your understanding. Prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and a desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O oh Lord, we pray, give us the determination which made St. Charles faithful in mystery and fervent in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Let's pray one Hail Mary for religious and priestly vocation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are protection against the wickedness and sins of the devil. May God, who you hear me and believe, pray. Do thou the prince of the heavenly host, with the power of God, trust into hell, Satan, all evil spirit who crawl over the world, seeking the ruin of souls. My dear friends, if anyone would like to help us to sanitize the church, you are most welcome, and thank you.